Hi guys and welcome back. So you guys should have completed your diagrams for your landforms using the What's Stronger book. So now we're going to go ahead and work on sharing some ideas about our diagrams. So remember that a diagram is a type of a model. Scientists use models because models can help to simplify things. With diagrams we made, we can show our ideas about how water erodes landforms. So you're going to take some time to share your diagram with somebody at home. Um, and then you can revise your diagrams based on your discussions. So revise means that after you discuss your diagram with somebody at home, maybe they have some ideas for things that we could change about our pictures. Maybe they have some ideas for ways that we can change up the captions or things that we can add. So you're gonna go ahead and share this with somebody at home and then you guys will be able to take some time to make revisions. So you can go ahead and pause this video and take some time to do that and then we'll come back to this. And again, after discussing your diagram with someone at home, what are some of the things that you would change? And if you made no changes, why not? So I'm gonna have you guys go ahead and answer this question in your packet. You can do this either, well, you can do this by answering it in your packet, or if you do not have access to the packet, you can talk to somebody at home, kind of like you just did, or you can think about some things in your head for things that you would change or why you decided not to make any changes. Okay, so based on the hands-on model, the information in our What's Stronger book and the diagrams that we created, what are some new ideas that we should add to our chart about what water can do to landforms? So I'm gonna give you guys a minute to pause this video and add any new ideas down for things that you might know more about. And so when I'm thinking about things that I know more about, I'm going to now think about how in the What's Stronger book, we learned a lot about erosion. And I know that erosion is when things break down into smaller pieces. Um, and I know that this happens a lot with my landforms. And I know that water is a form of erosion to some of our landforms. I also can think back to our hands-on model. And when I think about that, I'm thinking about how water changes landforms. Um, for example, we saw that um, at the beginning when we had the flower, it was very light and powdery. And when we added water to it, it changed that flower into a more solid, um, stickier substance instead. So the key concept that we wanna take away from today's lesson is the shape of a landform changes when water causes pieces of rock to break off. So again, we're thinking about how water is constantly changing our landforms. What are some new ideas that you have about how the Recreation Center's cliff could have changed? So based off of all the things that we've talked about so far in this chapter, all the things that we have on our chart that we just completed, I want you guys to go ahead and pause this video and write down any of these new ideas you have, um, either in your packet, you can talk to somebody at home, or you can think about it in your head. Okay, and that's the end of the lesson today, so I look forward to seeing you guys again for lesson five.